Number 35. Unlike most of the other muscles in our body, the masseter muscle in the jaw, as illustrated in figure 9.43, is attached relatively far from the joint, enabling large forces to be exerted by the back teeth. Letter A. Using the information in the figure, calculate the force exerted by the lower teeth on the bullet. All right, so I just basically simplified the picture over here. Here's the joint, all right? There's a certain force acting at that joint. We don't know what it is. That's what part B is all about, I think. And um, we have certain then f other forces, the force of the masseter muscle, the reaction force on the bullet, right? of all the things he could be or she could be chewing on, it's a bullet. Um, so we have these forces acting at a distance from the axis of rotation, therefore they produce torques. Okay, the problem is static, therefore the sum of the torques, clean that up a little bit, the sum of the torques will equal zero. Two torques, like I said, the uh, torque produced by the masseter muscle and then the torque produced by their uh, reaction force. So this torque, or this force I should say, would produce a counterclockwise rotation, therefore that torque is going to be positive. So torque produced by the masseter muscle. Then the opposite is true for the reaction force. It's in the opposite direction. So we come up with an algebraic equation like this. Then we have these are perpendicular lever arms, the perpendicular lever arm of the masseter muscle multiplied by the force that that masseter muscle is applying is equal to the perpendicular lever arm of the reaction force multiplied by the force uh, by that reaction force. So then solving for uh, what we're being asked for is calculate the force over here, right? So I have to rework this. So F sub R will equal RM, FM, all over RR. RR. Okay, that's about as fun as this video is gonna get. So FR is going to be equal to Let's just plug in those uh, values now. So we get, now you, you can leave these in centimeters if you want, I just convert them into meters. Why? Just because I don't like to know when and when I can't do it. Um, you know, I just always convert into meters, rather be safe than sorry. So here the values are in centimeters, I'm gonna convert them into meters. So we have 0 0.029 multiplied then by the force of the masseter muscle, which was 200 newtons, all divided by then the 0 0.05. Plug it into the calculator. It's essentially just a, a ratio here, 0 0.029, uh, 0.029 times 200 divided by 0 0.05. And we get about 116. Looks like we should have two sig figs, so it looks like 120 Newton should be the answer. Okay, that takes care of letter A. And now for letter B, it says calculate the force on the joint. So here it is, F sub J. Some of the forces in the problem should equal zero, right, as we know, so this is now letter B. So this is simple, I'm just gonna run through this. Some of the forces are gonna be equal to zero. Three forces, right, one's pointing up, two are pointing down. Up is positive, down is negative. Hopefully that's good at this point. Um, if not, uh, yeah. So uh, we should then get an algebraic expression of this. So uh, force of the center muscle minus then the force, the jaw joint minus then the reaction force should equal zero. Then. Uh, solving for F sub J, we're going to get an equation that looks like this. F sub J uh, will equal uh, F sub M minus F sub R. And now plugging in the values, F sub J should then be equal to the force of the center muscle, which was 200 newtons, minus then the reaction force, which down here we had to round because sig figs it was 120, but the real number was 116. All right, so when we take that into account now, the force of the jaw joint would then be uh, 84 uh, newtons. All right. And that takes care of that. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.